What's up guys, Learning with Rich here is still on our schedule topic. I'm gonna show you the way to create your graphical column schedule. So this is the last video for our uh, schedule topic. Okay, and then after the scheduling, we are going to discuss detailing. All right, so, but before that, so let's learn how to add a graphical column schedule. So the structural columns are identified in a column schedule. So that's your uh, st uh, graphical uh, column schedule. What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to add graphical column schedule. Okay, so this is the last uh, video for the topic of uh, schedule. Okay, on the next uh, series of videos that I'll be doing starting after this video is about detailing. Okay, but first let's learn how to add graphical column schedule. So you can go to the view tab and then you can look for the schedules there so you can see your graphical column schedule. So it creates a graphical column schedule for the project. So with graphical column schedules, you can include off-grid columns, filter specific columns to view, group similar column locations, and apply the schedule to a sheet. Okay, so another way of creating your graphical column schedule is, of course, just go to your project browser, you look for the schedules, quantities, all, and then right click that, and then you can select new graphical column schedule. So in graphical column schedule, structural columns are identified in a column by intersecting grid lines and and by their top and bottom constraints and also the offsets so they are placed into the column schedules according to this identification all right so let's select this one and there you go so there's now your uh, graphical column schedule so as you can see here some of the columns here which is the flange type the wide flange column is shown as a single line. If you want to see that in a 2D view, so you can change the detail level to fine. There you go. And you can also change the scale here. Let's change the scale. Uh, let's say one fourth of an inch to one foot. And some columns in graphical column schedule exceeded the segment's upper lower bound. So you can add levels or adjust the view parameters. That's all right. Just close that one. And then just uh, zoom to fit to see our schedule. And also you can change here the graphical or visual style here. So I'm going to change that to shaded. Okay. And then let us modify as well the, the text. Okay, so let's modify the text here. So to do that, so you can go to the text appearance. Oh, by the way, I'm going to hide the roof here. So I don't need the roof. So I'm going to hide that level. So from the properties of your GCS, when I say GCS, that's your graphical column schedule. So from the hidden levels, I'm going to select your edit. And then let's select here roof. I don't want to see that. So I'll just select here OK. There you go. Right now, let us do some modification to our GCS. Let's go to the properties again. And let's look for uh, text appearance. This one. Okay, so for the title, so let me just change this to let's say uh, area block bold italic and for the level text so let me change that to calibri or any other text that you would like to use and then for the column location so let's say that's my uh, comic sense that's it okay and then for the grid appearance so for the horizontal widths, I'm not going to change the vertical height, so I'll just modify the horizontal width. So let's say I'll just make that 2 inches, 2, in, two inches there. And then let's select here, OK. And there you go. Right. Now the next thing that I'm going to do here is let's put some tag to our column. So from my 
quick access toolbar. I'm, go I'm gonna select here tag by category. And I'm gonna tag it horizontally. No, it's vertical. So I'm gonna select vertical. And then I'm gonna uncheck the leader. I don't like to include the leader to my tag. And let's see how it looks like. So there you go. So you can click that to place your tag. And then after that, modify. Now, instead of clicking it one by one, because it will really take a lot of time for you to tag all the columns. So what you do is just go to the annotate tab. And then from the tag panel, you can see tag all. So it adds tags to multiple elements in one step. Just click that. And then here you can select the tag that you want to be used to your framing. So let's say I'll use here structural column tag type. So just select that. And then for the tag orientation, I'm going to change that to vertical. Then select apply. Then OK. And boom. So there's now your tags. Right? Okay, so now the next thing that we're gonna do here is, oh, let's change the name. So let's say this is my structural column is scheduled. Enter. There you go. So it's now renamed here. Okay, so there's now our structural column schedule. So what else? Uh, let's say I want to modify the grid appearance. So let's select edit. Oh no, uh, not the grid appearance. We already changed that. How about the columns location per segment? So instead of uh, 50, let me just make that uh, 15. And then I'll select your apply. And there you go. Okay, so if you have more time, you can still further modify your GCS by changing the properties here. Okay, well, that's it for this video. So hopefully you learned something. So that's how you create your graphical column schedule. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.